organ donation, you need not to interfere with the normal life of the hospital. If you interfere economically or uh, from the point of view of the human resources with the normal life of the hospitals and other patients, then this could be like a boomerang against you and uh, you, you will not be able to go farther because the, you will have all the people in the hospital against you. So um, this was another very important point. Uh, another point was to modify the law in the late 90s in order to facilitate cell and tissue procurement and the organization of the cell and tissue procurement and, and transplantation and to re uh, transform the, the, the former law, the former first uh, uh, royal decree, uh, and adapt this uh, legal text to the evolution of what is the uh, uh, scientific knowledge in what's related with brain death, the new tests that were uh, at that time uh, uh, at the disposal of the uh, ICU people to diagnose brain death, etc. Et so, uh, organization, budget, legal framework, and to have the specific people in place in the hospital responsible for organ donation and uh, train it to deal with the organ donation processes. So, these are the main points in which we based our activity. Then, this is done in the hospital, but we, in uh, the national, at the national level, we manage the waiting list, we allocate organs, we organize the procurement, to the shifts, the travels, uh, and etc. of the teams, and we um, proceed with the statistics and uh, many, I mean, all the things that any organization does in order to um, come back with the results and then uh, see what's going well, what's going wrong, uh, what should be improved, what are the actions that should be put in place. At that point, I mean, in, uh, we were able to uh, control every death in the ICUs, in the hospitals that are authorized to deal with uh, organ donation. We know exactly how many people de die in these hospitals in uh, encephalic death, how many of them are transformed into actual donors, why those where which are not transformed into actual donors why they are not transformed into such uh, uh, disposable donors or possible donors and uh, if uh, those um, reasons are um, can be overcome or can be changed then we promote actions in these hospitals or regions to change things that are not going so 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 well so year after year we are improving the rate of organ donation uh, because we know exactly all the processes of encephalic death and the outcome of these encephalic deaths. But uh, what, it, what is also, what was very important was to, um, uh, in the second uh, modification of the legal text, uh, uh, to introduce the concept of non-herpeting donation. You will see next uh, Wednesday when you will visit the uh, uh, hospital that you will visit, the big, biggest problem program of non-herpetic donation here in Spain, which is in relation with the extra hospital emergency services when they have a cardiac arrest and they, uh, this can be a donor, they transfer this body to the hospital, they proceed with the uh, obtention of organs and, and then uh, you have to realize that in uh, the United States um, last year, for instance, they have grafted, in, in 2003, they have grafted four, four, 400 uh, organs from non-herpeting donors and here in Spain, we are only 43 million people. They are 258 or so. Uh, so with 20% of the population of the United States, we have grafted in here in the Madrid region more than 125 organs from non herpeting donors. So, and this can be also put in place in other cities and in other contexts. So uh, it is quite important to have the legal framework to be able to proceed with this kind of uh, uh, activities, because in some European countries, uh, this is simply forbidden, like uh, in Germany. They cannot use non herpeting uh, On the other hand, uh, it is also very important that the legal framework is uh, adapted exactly to what the society wants from you, uh, for instance, in what's related with living the nation, which is something that we have to improve here in Spain, because there are very few transplants done with uh, living the nation and then we could improve that, uh, that uh, story. You also uh, asked uh, quite a lot of questions about the relationship with uh, mass media, etc. I 
I've been speaking about the technical side. I mean, what what did we do from the technical point of view? Evaluation of the donor, promotion of donation, medical activity, legal statements, organizational activities, etc., statistics, and so on and so on. But there is also a very important uh, uh, and crucial role of the society in uh, transplantation. In fact, transplantation is probably the only medical activity that needs uh, the participation of the society. We cannot proceed only with more uh, research, more investment, more uh, human resources, more budget. I mean, you cannot proceed only. You need those kind of things, but you cannot proceed only with these kind of things. We need exactly the people um, cooperating with, uh, with our system. Uh, if the people does not give you the organ, if the willingness of the people is not positive to the nation, um, you will not have any anything. So don't forget the other side, I mean the two pillars, the technical side and the social or um, the human part of the, of the story. Uh, what did we do at that time? Well, uh, we have a program to uh, promote uh, organ donation in Spain. This program is a big national program uh, divided into four uh, areas. One area is general population, the other area is some uh, specific groups, uh, the other area is the, um, the people working in healthcare, including pharmacy, pharma pharmacies, and the other fourth area is the specific interview for the nation to the families. So those are the big areas in which we work. In the first one, uh, society, uh, we include all the activities that are related to the society. Uh, I mean, uh, campaigns, information, um, surveys, polls, uh, etc. I mean, uh, all the work that has been done with the uh, general population and it's being done. Uh, we um, uh, produce um, um, material for information, etc. In the second area, uh, specific group, which are the specific groups with which we work? First uh, is, uh, of course, mass media. We have a very, very uh, strong relationship with mass media. All the coordinators in Spain know the people uh, reading, writing in the, news, in the local newspapers about uh, science or a society uh, and then have a very close correlation with those uh, journalists. We follow all the uh, written news about transplantation that appears on national and big newspapers in Spain. We have uh, more or less 2,500, uh, 2,800 news every year that we evaluate. Most of them, more than 90% of them are positive, at least are not uh, negative news or are not uh, uh, problematic or um, let's say uh, uh, maybe not negative, but could be, uh, um, how do you say it in English? Um, well, problematic can be the word, or negative even. Most of them are neutral or, uh, or even positive. And then uh, most of them are related with transplantation or at that time cell therapy or the impact of possible impact of cell therapy. But they never forget absolutely donation. We always have news about the nation. We have this National Day of uh, Organ Donation, National Day of Donors, National Day of the Kidney Patient. Then uh, at that time, uh, generally, we give uh, statistics or information that appear on the newspapers, etc. And then we comment with the journalists. But the most important thing is that we have this close relation with the journalists. With We have our telephone open 24 hours for them to call us uh, and to ask anything anything. If they receive any, any type in their, uh, in their desk about organ transplantation traffic or any problematic issue, and then they want to check with us this information, they can. We are always, always uh, available. Um, and this is true also for the coordinators of the hospitals and the regions. So if they want, they can. Sometimes they do not want, they do not ask, or they do not call, and they produce the new without any uh, relationship with us. But uh, generally, the relation is very good. Besides, we every year organize a meeting with journalists. And then we have uh, journalists, one or two journalists from every of the 17 regions in Spain, journalists that 